we are here and we snuck away from the kids. Don't tell them. Today's video is how we met when we were 17 and 19. This is a lot, so if you're our family, please exit out of this video because this is just for exclusive Meet the Morgans family, not our family family. Like, <laughs> you don't want to know some of this stuff. We're going to go in detail. You know that's just going to make them want to watch it even more. No, they better not. We're about to get into some juicy details of how I got with this guy. A handsome fellow. Yeah. Yeah, you draw. That's fine. He's drawing in our little notebook right here. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, what are they doing? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not. Can't show anybody what he's drawing. Okay. And when I was, I in, was 19 when we I first was, started talking, but by the time we met, I was 20. I was still in high school. Were you still in high school? No. But I was not going to regular school. I was in a psychiatric residential center. So all of my high school days, I was struggling with ED and SI. I was sent to several different hospitals and finally they sent me to the long-term residential center where I stayed there for six months. So when you're in there, there's no guys. There's just girls. And I really wanted to meet a guy. I was about to get out of high school and I just wanted to. So what to. you're saying is you was desperate. That's why you found me. Uh, no, that's not what I'm saying. Does that make me sound desperate? No, I was just Good messing gosh. with you. So I decided well, one of the times that they let me come home, they would let me come home during the weekend sometimes if I was on good behavior. So one of the weekends that I was home, I went on a dating website, signed up for it, and I met this guy on there. Handsome fellow. So, Man of your dreams. Yeah. Any, uh, any of the above will work. Yeah, my soulmate. <laughs> there we go. We just started texting back and forth. And I think we physically met probably right at, after I got like graduated out of that center, but I was still in high school when we met. Okay, so what were you doing leading up to us meeting? When I was in the crazy home, where were you? Well, mine's not as interesting. Mine was actually kind of boring. I think it's pretty interesting. Well, I mean, I did have some past, but I guess I could start off Technically, I was still married, um, even though we've been we hadn't lived together for over a year and a half, and hadn't been together I think by four or five months by then. By the time we met. started talking, yeah, me and my first wife we split up within six months after we got married. I'm, just num because I'm husband. Num I mean, I'm wife number two, <laughs> right? I'm yeah, you're wife number two, but if you're a husband, um, I'm getting divorced. <laughs> she liked to run around a lot, and she was just she well, she was very wild. Let's put it that way. And we split up within six months. I was getting my I got my life back together, doing good. We got back together just for a few months. And that's how I had my other son, Devin. Of course, she let her old habits get back into play, so we separated, even though there was exactly one week between me and another guy. She literally left this guy and then come back to me. He was born a week early. I mean, they were basically everything kind of pointing the opposite way. She was saying it wasn't my kid. I left after her running around again. What is it, about four months later, I buddy of mine talked me into going on this website and I did and that's how I met this crazy chick. Uh, <laughs> nah, this man, wonderful, when we first met, sweet, he did. beautiful angel. <laughs> mm. He did tell me that he was upset about the how whole do I situation. say that? Yeah. He he thought he told me that he explained to me that he was in a prior relationship and that he thought he was the dad but he found out he wasn't and it was very upsetting for him and that was like one of the first conversations we had after we started talking for a little while. Yeah, he believed that that wasn't his son for a very long time. We met for the first time at my house. Yep. I told him my mama used to run paper routes and she would leave early in the... Or I honestly don't remember when she would leave. She probably would leave around like midnight or something. Right, or would you leave around like three in the morning? 
I do not remember. I don't remember, but she would leave like early in the morning and be gone for several hours. So I told Shane, hey, when my mom is gone, you come to my house. <laughs> Did you know that? Yeah, I remember you telling me everything. <laughs> so that's how we met, and that's how we continue to see each other. Because I didn't have a driver's license. I was still in high school at that time. I had to go back to high school to get all my credits to graduate. While I was in that center, I was still going to school online. But then once I got out of there, I had to go back to my regular high school. And I was going there after hours to finish up school. Then I graduated high school. And I thought it would be a great idea to invite him to my high school graduation. He came to it. Yep. And I remember I was talking with a dude that was there. The same thing. Almost the same thing as me. He was there to watch his girlfriend walk across stage like I was and he was just talking about how you know no it was the one I started thinking I was like you know what I said she is the one. Oh, that's so that's sweet. That's the first time I thought about <laughs> you being the one. Oh. I guess the only other things I was doing during that time is I was boxing. I was just training all the time. I was working. Yeah, he's, he's a must up little feller. <laughs> yeah, I mean I was working uh, probably about 60, 70 hours a week and I'd only sleep about three hours a day. Saturday, it was my day off, so I'd sleep all day and night, I guess, to catch up on all the lost sleep I lost the week before, because I worked third shift. Sunday night, I would go back to work, but the whole time I would train pretty much seven days a week. I mean seven days, six days a week, because Saturday I slept all day and night. So it was by the time I wake up Sunday morning, I'd train the whole time. Uh, about the whole time until it's time to go back to work. <laughs> I turned 18 in June right after I graduated high school. We kept meeting up with each other. We... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I really believed that Shane was my soulmate. I thought I had met the guy that I was going to spend the rest of my life with. And I was very happy to have met him and excited. <sighs> but something happened and we had a humongous blowout or blow up blowout would be like a diver <laughs> or a tire blowing out oh yeah so yeah we had a big blow up and we broke up and i believe it was around november so by november we pro i believe it was around november we had broke up so we have been dating since march to like november yeah we're going to talk about that in our next video about why we broke up, what happened. It was a very big thing that happened. Kind of how we got back together and reconnected. So if you are interested in that, subscribe to our channel. <laughs> and oh uh, yeah, I'm... I'm what is it? Like this video, yeah. comment, and subscribe in the comments. Uh, yep. Subscribe and blow. I also have an Instagram and TikTok at MorganFamily underscore YT. I would love for you to follow us there as well. We usually post uh, daily vlogs, lifestyle videos, motherhood videos, but I really wanted y'all to get to know us a little bit better. We're also hoping for another baby. Yep. Baby but, number three. So we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>